Welcome back to the Ghostki. I am Gray, and today we have a match against Viking it here for you. Now, this is a pretty important match. Um, this is going to be like the last match of all the player players, teams that we're playing that are, you know, bottom half of the table for a while. Except after this, we had uh, KTP HFK uh, Helsing Force. There we go. Not H F uh, H I F K. There we go. Fuck, I cannot speak today. Anyway, and then PK35. So, um, it's going to be pretty important to pick up the three points here today. I think, you know, I we're going to jump out on a limb and do something that we probably shouldn't do. But we're going to have to do it anyway, I think. Um, we're going to have to try and, and um, use a little bit of our depth here. We don't have much, as you know, but we're going to have to at least try here. So, um, since Monsalve is away on international duty, apparently, um, we're gonna try and substitute some guys in and, and hope that we can come away and get lucky with some points here today. That's really what we're just after. Um, KTP is playing Helsing Force today, and hopefully they stumble. I mean, uh, you know, you just we're just gonna need shit like that to happen. Um, I am gonna put on here here on the, on the back burner for today. Nermela is going to come in and play for Ose, and I think that's pretty much all the moves that we can make. Yeah, that's that's what it looks like to me. Anyway, this is what we're going to be going with um, into this match. Uh, we we are not going to have a fun day today. I don't think. Um, I don't like their formation. First of all, their little their little thing. I don't I don't I don't like it. It causes problems. Um, but. I think we're gonna go after the the their fullbacks here and hope for the best. I think for Dan Safari too. I think we're gonna go after uh, is that Fidan? Yeah, Fidan Safari. He seems to be pretty dangerous. Seems to be scoring quite a few goals and shit like that. So we're gonna go really go after that position. Um, good thing is uh, KTP does play the exact same number of games as we are they're playing today as well so hopefully they'll be as tired as we are or as some of our players are since we're trying to have some depth here and this is the reason why i like having depth i mean it's just the way it is you know um it the the uh blah, 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 blah. the ktp game is kind of a, it's it's in the middle of the week all the rest of our games are on sunday afternoon and stuff like that so yeah, uh, we literally have them coming up here in like two days. So we're going to get started on this, and hopefully we can... Oh, my. How is he onside? He looked way offside there. Jesus. Oh, come on. I was going to say, someone's got to be offside. This is like getting a little out of hand. But anyhow, um... Yeah. Like I said, this is why I like having depth, and we will, we should have some at least here in a couple seasons. Next season will still be pretty tough, but the third and fourth ones are, are really when we're, gonna, when we're gonna be able to start building some real depth and having a real semblance of a team. Oh no, no, no! Let's see, I'm not. Why did you? Let's see, you literally just headed that right back to Amanda Mela. What was the? Why? Why are you helping them, you bastard? Um, one of the, the the problems with their formation, I don't know exactly because I don't see it very often. And and in truth, I think I think I mentioned this before. I mean, you see a lot more of exotic formation so far in in the um, Finnish first division than I've ever seen in any other in any other um, any other league. Um, in truth, I mean, even like you know when you play in the Champions League and shit like that. You know, I I never just haven't seen the the variety of formations, and this is a formation that I don't quite know what positions to attack um, with our opposition instructions. So I'm kind of ugh, Jesus, I'm kind of um, kind of going out on a limb, and oh geez, oh sweet Christ, <sighs> kind of going out on a limb and going after their their fullbacks trying to limit their width and everything to play in the middle of the park you know 
hopefully it'll be congested enough. And that was a good shot there, or a good chance rather. The shot just went way wide, and we have got no shots on goal. The first 25 minutes, I mean, we're just piss poor. That's quite frustrating, really. That's that's pretty upsetting. At least they've got, you know, a yellow card. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. That looked like it was one of those plays where one of their players decided to make a run at the ball and everyone else just stands around and watches them. Then they score. That's what I thought was about to happen. And then, Jesus Christ, man, come on. Thank you, Gronholm, for sort of solving the situation for all of, like, two seconds. Oh, God. Yeah, we... Oh, no. How is he onside? Wow. Just, wow. Wow, yeah, exactly. I was... Wasn't I fucking closing that position down and shit and... Yeah, and then and then old boy over here just wants to fucking stand around and pretend he doesn't have to fucking do anything. Good God. Just under siege in the first 30 minutes here. No. Just clear it. Thank you. We have nobody up there to even come anywhere close to retrieving that thing. It's kind of the same problem that I'm having with, or had with Bayern Munich when I played them on my other file. It, it just had so many players. I mean, we, we literally ran out of bodies to mark them with. In truth, I mean, that's really the problem. And I don't have... I mean, I've tried other formations and it just doesn't seem to work out as well either. Especially going forward, I mean, we really this is really our best attacking option of this four three three, and you know, a change in formation might be needed, but I don't know. I don't know if we can really uh, really afford it at present. Could I could do some things, but I yeah. I could, I could, I could whip out that four three two one, or I sort of four three two one, whatever you want to call it. Uh, establish some possession here and do something with it. Oh, and KTP fucking scored. God damn it! Oh, you please, thank you. The one, nope. Ah, fuck! How the hell is he offsides? Jesus Christ, man. That's... That is, uh... You know, I wonder if that's one of those things that they're going to say afterwards that the referee fucked up on. I have a feeling that might be one of those disallowed goals I should have stood. Just saying. Uh... I'm not really happy with the way things are going. I mean, I have to be a jerk, but I'm pretty disappointed with, with everything so far. And I'm going to give them... Oh, Helsing 4 score. That's good. I'm going to give them a little bit of time here in the second half to to try and get their feet under them. I mean, if they can by 60, 70 minutes, you know, we'll... We'll go with it, but I don't. I don't see that happening right now. I mean, Viking has just got too much time on the ball. You know, yeah. Go ahead and send it down there. And no, 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 no. Okay. Oh Jesus, that was even f more frightening than I thought. I hate passes like that from your goalkeeper. Jesus, do I ever? You know, I used to like them. You know, trying to play the possession game, but especially at these lower levels. Oh Jesus. My God, I think that goal was one of those ones I was supposed to stand. I really do. It didn't look offside to me, and feeling a little bit cheated. 
probably could go back and take a look at it, but that would be wasting wasting your time, and I really don't want to do that. And this this match, the last match was long enough. My God, that thing was like half an hour long. Sweet Jesus, it took forever. Well, we're gonna take Kokea Aho out, and give you all you know, on all a chance to go out there and 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 um and maybe maybe bag us some winning goal if we can get away with it. Because Kokea Aho, you know, it's frustrating. He had a couple really good games for us, a couple really good matches, and then now he's kind of just disappeared and been rather poor. My God, they just have so many players in the same area. And there's no, there is no width to what they do, and, you know, goddamn, that was, would have liked to have not given up the corner there, but, ah, uh, Jesus, yeah, thank you, somebody got to that at least, ugh. Oh. Jeez, not really getting anything going in this game. We need to we have to make some changes here. All right, I'll bring Harala back on with Michaela out. He too had some had some good couple good games, but just hasn't been able to maintain his form. Part of that is because we did take him out and, and replace him with Harala, who has been pretty good for us, but you know, well, you know. And, I do feel, you know, this is something too, like the way the scoreline is, I do feel a little more comfortable without Haglum back there, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I know it really doesn't, but there we go, see? I mean, it's just, I feel a little bit more, I feel a little bit more safe. I probably shouldn't, but I just kind of do. But. Oh Jesus, Mela. Hmm. What was that? That was one of those plays where you kind of expected the whistle to be blown there, but it wasn't. Is that a throw to us? Oh, that is a throw to us. Wow, that was nice. Now can we do anything with it? Instead of turning it over? <laughs> That'd be great. Good run by Fellman. Don't uh, yeah, nah, nah. Alright, see now this is the question here. Do we take off Ramasaho or Fellman? Ramasaho has played a little bit better. And oh my god, just really kick the fucking thing. God damn. Oh, fuck. That's... That's irritating. Yeah, I guess we'll bring Stastula back on. And uh, see if we can get something done here. I mean, Ramasaho hasn't been bad, and I think this kind of keeps... Keeps our... Uh, our, I don't know, I guess structural integrity intact here with putting staff still back out there oh my god thank you Hinkula Jesus see like plays like that like right there I mean Hinkula just went out there and decided to go and and just take charge and tackle him and now no one Mark Stevens and all right, Gonzalez puts it out. All right, that's fine. And and like I was saying, I mean, it's just I feel safer with Hinkle out there. I mean, I hate to say that because he is, but and then again, you know, he is a central defender. That is his natural position, and I you know. Oh my. You know, and that that is something that um. You know, and like I said, I mean. We've given Hagblum that chance, and I don't feel, like I said, a defensively, oh my, Jesus. Lorenz, thank you for kind of coming across and dealing with that. It doesn't help either that today we have Penanin out there instead of Monsalve, and in truth, it's, yeah, I mean, not really much of a goalkeeper out there. 
Although the good thing is I am keeping an eye on that KTP score down there. I like the way that's looking right now, especially if we can hang on for at least a point here. Or if we can steal one and get lucky. Oh, way to turn it over. Uh, it's no really been little ball retention on our part today. Pretty much just, oh, fuck. Thank you, Wusu. You did your job. Better than some people. But yeah, they've just had all sorts of possession. This just... Oh my. Oh, fuck, I thought that was in. I was about to rage out. Throwing my mouse across the room. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe I would. I don't know. They're finally making some changes. Alright, we... Yeah, I know our crossing has been fucking piss poor. Our, fuck, our retention has been piss poor. That will be done with the ball whenever we had it. Just walked around and then gave it back to him. So it's not like we're really doing much here. Like I said, it's this formation that just it gives me problems. I mean, they're getting all these shots completely off target, but they're getting all these fucking shots. And it's it's a little uh, alarming, I guess. See, there we go. There's a halfway decent header to a teammate, and then we just turn it right back over to him. I fucking hate that. And KTP just... Did they? Or no? I think they just drew level. Oh, my God. And then, yep, that happens. <sighs> yeah, KTP drew level. That's just wonderful. And there's that! Oh, my God. That's just fucking ridiculous. There's no fucking reason for that shit. Ah, <sighs> Housing four scored another one. Uh, what the fuck was that, man? This has been fucking shit. Yeah, everyone's a fucking danger, man. I mean, seriously, none of these fuckers. I can't fucking hold the ball. I mean, they're just. They can do whatever they want the whole fucking match. Jesus. <sighs> yeah, evidently, yeah. We're not gonna fucking win anything. Uh, you fucking think that was disappointing? You really think that was disappointing? I mean, that was fucking terrible. I mean... I don't know. Fucking three shots. Three. Three shots. At least KTP lost. Uh, I guess that's... That's what fucking matters, right? But anyway, um, it's it's hard for me to hide my disappointment, honestly. I mean, it, it, this is this is me being really pissed off about this. I mean, this is fucking stupid, as far as I'm concerned. Mean. So there's no fucking reason for us to lose or play that fucking poorly. Now, if we were to sit there and put 20 shots on goal, and and fucking still lose, all right, fine, whatever. You know, we we got dicked out of a win, but you know. Just to fucking be that damn poor. You know, and, and, and like I said, and a lot of it is me being pissed off that I can't fucking figure out that formation that they're running. I hate that shit. I cannot fucking... Ugh. I cannot break it down. And that bugs the hell out of me. But anyway, um... 
I'll fucking hopefully hopefully we'll do something against KTP next time. But anyway, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, the ghost key is the only place. Pants are optional. <laughs>